put that in there. <laughs> Is this a deli select hand? <laughs> oh my God. Hi guys, I'm Dwayne. And I'm Michelle Todd Allen with Todd Allen Marketing and Media. Today's topic is, you're not ugly. You ain't ugly. <laughs> yeah, that's, All a, right. that's, that's an interesting topic. It is. So let's talk about what, what do we mean by you're not ugly? Let's talk about that a little what bit. What does that mean, not to be ugly? <laughs> <laughs> oh, are we going to lead into this one? All right. Well, um, here's the reality that we have seen in our careers, meaning from us being behind the camera to the people that we film, and them, uh, you know, being nervous in front of the camera. Mm -hmm. And we can both agree the absolute number one reason that people don't podcast, people don't uh, get some of their own uh, video marketing going yeah. is because they realize, you know, they might have to get in front of the camera. And, yeah. you know, they call it being camera shy. But I think when you dig down, people are very critical of themselves. And it it becomes difficult for anyone to just say, you know, let's get in front of the camera. <laughs> Uh, I'm laughing because uh, I think it was just a, a, probably about a week ago that we did a podcast and um, Dwayne's upstairs and he's he's working on it and I start crying. I'm like, is this? Is, please tell me the camera is lying. It it sh it cannot be the truth of how I look because I'm critical of myself. I don't right. think that other people see me the way we see ourselves through critical eyes. Yeah. And I think that that's, it's a shame that we do that. I think we, maybe women are more prone to do this more than men are, but. I don't know. They say, uh, you know, uh, the camera adds 10 pounds and then I saw this <laughs> and I realized, wait a minute, I already had that 10. I don't need the camera to add another 10. And then I was critical of my sausage fingers. I thought, is, this, is this a deli do select? Do not put that in there. <laughs> is this a deli select hand? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> the point is, critical is what we all are. At some level, you know, what happens when, when you guys see your family photos, right? Christmas photos. Mm -hmm. Where, if you're in it, where does your eye go? For sure. It goes right to you. Right right to you. And you, you, you really don't even notice the others in the photo as much. Yeah. Because you're too busy being critical about yourself. Isn't that right? It, it is true. And I think that, you know, this is this is something that is kind of on a different topic. But I I was looking up a, um, a video. It's called Wabi Sabi. And it was about um, it's really finding the beauty in the imperfection of things. And what I one of the things that they had talked about in that video was in social media, we present ourselves as a, this perfection, right? It's the perfect vacation. It's the perfect family photo. It's the perfect children. It's the perfect friends. It's the perfect night out drinking or celebrating or whatever. Everything is, is in this perfect space. And that's not reality. Mm -hmm. We're not like that. I mm -hmm. mean, it's, you know, there's so many filters on everything yeah. anymore. So right. it's, this is real. It's, yeah. it's, this is really the way we look. And this is really, you know, my hair might not always be the way it wants to, I want it to be or whatever. And I think more and more people I, th I feel is longing for that authenticity. What do well, you think? Yes. Well, and as it relates to our work, I think that it is the number one hindrance, absolutely number one. Yeah. So we thought we'd make a video about this and title it, you aren't ugly because you're not. And you know what? That's the thing. We are so critical of ourselves. We're thinking, as you said, not only comparing us to uh, social media platforms, but just our own evaluation of ourselves, I think, can prevent us from doing perhaps a lot of things. Yeah. Um, this reminds me of there was a guy I saw in Omaha. I forget. It was a chamber meeting or something. And you know what he said? He's, I never forgot this. He goes, you know what? I know I'm not pretty, but don't call me ugly. <laughs> and I thought... That's brilliant. You know, he was kind of a rough, kind of a hockey looking guy. Yeah. And I thought, that's how we need to see ourselves. It's like, sure, could I go to the gym more often? Could I, you know, I don't know, get a new hairstyle, whatever it is that you're yeah. concerned about. But I think in general, we're so critical that it's it's preventing us from really enjoying life in some cases. I agree. I And, you know, I, I, I've said this so many times. It's that I feel like true we are we're in a space that we're all connected and yet disconnected mm -hmm. and i think that the more we can get in front of the camera and just be ourselves mm -hmm. be authentically who we are um i think the better we can start to connect with each other so we're kind of we're kind of broadening the the scope of this conversation which is fine because we are 
in our world, we're dealing with cameras every single right. day. And it took us, by the way, guys, years for us yes. to get on this side yeah. because of this very question. Yeah. It's like, oh, I don't think I look very good. I don't know if that I'm ready. You know, I, I don't even know what to say half the time. Now, these are things on, on, on the other side. We're coaching our clients. Mm -hmm. We're saying, here's what you do. Let's go right. ahead and make sure this looks good. And, and we're kind of making sure, at least to the best of our ability, that things are uh, captured well. Yeah. But that doesn't necessarily address the bigger concern that we all face, which is, you know, when am I ever going to look good enough? You know, yeah. I've got to yeah. wait till, you know, I shed, you know, 10 pounds at the gym or, you know, get some sort of treatment or right. whatever is concerning treatment. to you. <laughs> what? Um, you know, that kind of brings me back to a client that we actually did a video for. Um, her name was Kelsey Moore. And she, um, this was earlier on, this is about a, maybe a year or two ago. Yeah. Two years ago, thank you. Um, and she had great tips about, you know, really getting in front of the camera. She put me in front of the camera like I, you know, like I was one of her clients that she was coaching. And she talked about, you know, my stance and kind of this, this, yeah, breathing and then really talking about somebody like I'm talking to a friend. Mm -hmm. And I it was very helpful. I felt she was very uh, calming and. Um, she had a great positive great energy. Great positive energy. Yeah. When I mean calming, she calmed me down to mm. be able to be in front of the camera, which again, I'm not comfortable with on a regular basis, especially just, you know, one on one, all eyes are on me. That's a little difficult. I, I found it interesting when we met Kelsey is that there was someone who's making a career yeah. out of doing just that guy. So we'll, we'll put a link down in the description, but it's basically her doing what you just said, mm -hmm. which is once we can all, of course, address, look, there's always going to be something we don't like about ourselves. There's still some, you know, concern about just being in front of the camera. It can be intimidating. Yeah. So she, she takes that a step further and she's got some great coach coaching classes and things. Uh, really was an eye opener to me too. You know, one more that I really wanted to touch base with is Zara Ashby. She does oh, yeah. uh, boudoir, boudoir photography and she posted um, the other day, it was actually a boudoir photo of herself. And she was, she is such an advocate about finding that beauty in, in, you don't have to have the perfect figure, the, mm -hmm you know, all of the things that we're critical about. And she posted this photo and she immediately started saying, look, I'm going to point out all of the things that I see, whether whatever that list was, you know, nobody else would have looked at it the way that she did. And I really stuck with me. And I loved that she did that because I think that's really what we're talking about mm. here. You're not ugly. Mm -hmm. You are beautiful. And I think it's, it's finding that, um, going, yeah, there's flaws. And here they are. Yeah. No, I, I think I saw that too. And we'll probably see if we can get a link on that too. It's, it was very emotional, very transparent yeah. to do something like that. So, you know, guys, what we're trying to do in our careers is maybe similar to what you're trying to do, which is you're trying to, you know, add a different layer to your marketing. But, you know, the camera and the video can be a kind of a, a stumbling block. We have lots of resources. We ourselves have been, you know, concerned about our own appearances. Yeah. How can we get this done? How can we do? Uh, how can we communicate more authentically and more uh, transparently? Yeah, I think it's been interesting for us. Our journey is, in some ways, just beginning. Yeah, because this has been uh, very eye-opening to me too. But yeah, I think that this is a timely video. I think it's an important video. I hope uh, people get a lot of value out of it. I hope so too. I hope you guys appreciated this conversation and I, we would love to hear what you think. Yep. Please leave your comments below and let us know if you have any other questions. Thanks so much for listening. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.